Hi, I'm Philip Eliasoff. I'm a professor of art history at Fairfield University in Connecticut, and I'm very, very pleased to tell you about the new book I've written called Robert Vickery, The Magic of Realism. The writing of this book about Robert Vickery has really been a personal journey, allowing me to retrace the steps of how this young artist arrived in the New York art scene in the 1950s. He gained remarkable stature and attention, a very particular American blend of what we call magic realism seems to bubble up to the surface in these paintings. When my students look at Vickery paintings, they're, they're bewildered. Not only do they want to know how did he achieve these effects, but they're trying to appreciate how was he able to really calibrate what it is out there in the physical and in the natural world and, and magically to render it with remarkable virtuosity. The book was printed on one of the world's perhaps the greatest art press in the world, Mondadori Press in Verona, Italy. When you look at the quality of the plates and one really has an opportunity to allow oneself to really enjoy the depth of the uh, rep color reproductions. Here's an American artist who, like in the Robert Frost poem, chose the road less traveled. Vickery's illusions demand our attention with the understanding that the more we look, the greater the complexity. Our release only begins by ceasing in our search for answers. A rewarding strategy is to merely submit to their radiance.